Hello there, it's Courtney and it's another match day vlog. Liverpool are taking on Brentford today at Anfield and I've got probably one of the best seats in the house for it. I'm going to be in the lower main stand in block L2 which is roughly where the subs warm up during the game and I'm going to be on row 3. It's the closest I've ever been for a competitive game of football at Anfield so I am really excited about that. Um, but yeah, there's not much team news really apart from still no Bobby unfortunately it looks like filler will be his last game fingers crossed um at Anfield I so hope he gets to play in that game it would mean an absolute world for Bobby and for the fans um but every game season you're still getting sang so that is a bonus um as of how I think the game's gonna go I'm hoping it's a lot more exciting than the Fulham game because pretty boring game now but we've got the three points and we do seem to be in good form at the minute so we just need to hope that Brentford don't have a good game as well because Brentford can be a really good game when they choose to if Antonio is a brilliant goal scorer for them happens to be in my fantasy team most of the time that's how often he scores for them but it could like every game this season it could go either way just because we're on a good run of form at the minute I think a lot of us are thinking positively about this game and touch wood it does go that way but we'll have to wait and see um, but yeah I'll be back to speak to you once I get team news see if there's any other little changes going on um, but yeah with that being said I'm going to head to Anfield get the coach meet and greet coming in hopefully it's a good one last few ones been a bit quiet like the Fulham one but that was a night time game so hopefully there's a bit of a crowd going because it's quite warm outside so that usually helps but with that being said let's go to Anfield <laughs> Trent, Canarte, Virgil and Robertson. Midfield looks to be Fabinho and Curtis Jones. And then up front is Salah, Cody Gakpo, Diogo Jota and Nunes. So it's either a completely different formation or I think for me possibly I think Gakpo might be dropping into midfield and then the front three of Salah, Jota and Nunes. But We'll have to see as the game goes on, it is going to be an interesting game for every attacking mind of team. Um, but yeah, that being said, I'm going to go in, I'm going to get on row three and hopefully enjoy the game. Hopefully it's a really good game today. Let's go. So here's a quick look from inside the main stand at the new Anfield Road expansion. You can get a really good look inside. You can see the stairs leading up to the upper level you can actually see into the upper level where there's a lot of um, work still going on but it is coming along really fast obviously it's supposed to be opening next season um, it is looking good like I said there's the stairs leading up and you can see a bit of the concourse area which I believe is what's going to be um, and then obviously there's where the suits will be it is looking massive from in here
Europa.
there we go a really well thought out three points from the red only a one nil victory but it is the victory at the end of the day and I haven't seen it back yet but obviously Brentford did score but then it was disallowed by offside on VAR um, I feel like it must be close because it took them a while to check but we got the three points at the end of the day and did feel quite nervy throughout the game but that's just because this season, earlier this season, we would have gone 1-0 up and then ended up having a fight for the goal or win it because we would have let the other team score. Um, so um, that was the only thing that sort of stressed us out in this game. Salah though with the goal, a brilliant cross from Fabs to Fage who then heads it in over to Salah and Salah gets it in at the back of the net which is only fitting that today. The Egyptian King scores so the true king of the day scores inside Anfield and it was it just felt right um like I said the view I had was pretty good I was actually ended up on row two because I switched seats with someone so they could sit next to their family member um but it was a good view the only thing I will say in that section if you do sit there be prepared for the subs to block your view um, quite a few times the subs were in the way and we were like trying to lean around them to see it but brilliant view and actually quite a good atmosphere for once in the lower main stand do know the main stand sort of gets slated for its atmosphere but that lower main today did have quite a few of us singing which was quite nice to see um, but yeah, other than that, from that, I don't really feel like there's much to talk about from it. Um, a little bit more exciting than the Fulham game, I will admit, but it was still quite a boring game. Um, but as long as we get the three points, that's all that matters at the end of the day, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, quickly before I go, I want to say a massive thank you today while I was at Anfield. I hit 9,000 subscribers, which is pretty mental to think about, and also very fitting that I hit the number nine in the season that Bobby's leaving us. Obviously, next few weeks it's going to be pretty emotional with Bobby, and he's one of my favourite players. Absolutely love him. Um, I also love Brazilian football, so it just makes it even better when we have a team with quite a few Brazilians. Is in it's just sad obviously bobby's not going to be here next season so i just want to say thank you though for them subscribers and if you haven't subscribed already and you do like match day content make sure to subscribe because every home game i'm there um yeah with that being said though i'll see you all soon with some other content but till next time bye